Now next step is step number 7. Next step is step number 7. So step number 7. The next step is design for bending tension in longitudinal direction. That is design for steel. So design, design for bending tension, bending tension in longitudinal direction. in longitudinal direction now that is ast calculation that is ast or steel calculation now we have now we have now we have a ast for negative bending moment or hogging moment or Hogging moment. Now the formula for calculating the AST, it is already known to you that AST is equal to 0 0.5 into FCK divided here by FY multiplied by 1 minus square root of 1 minus square root of 1 minus 4.6 mu 4.6 mu divided by fck bd square divided by fck bd square and it is this complete term is again multiplied by b into d this complete term is again multiplied by b into d now we have the value of mu for this particular negative bending moment or hogging bending bending, bending moment Now we have this MU is equal to 15 minus 1500 and we can take directly 1500 kilonewton meter 1500 kilonewton meter therefore this value of AST this is longitudinal steel at the top this is longitudinal steel at the top okay therefore this will be 0.5 into FCK is uh, we have FCK is equal to 25 F5 415 FCK is the characteristic strength of steel, F FY is the characteristic strength of, no sorry, FCK is the characteristic strength of concrete and FY is the characteristic strength of steel. Okay, and then we have 1 minus under root, 1 minus under root, 1 minus 4.6 into mu we have mu is equal to 1500 into 10 to power 6 newton mm divided by fck is again 25 we have b is equal to that is width of footing is 2400 we can consider this as bd square capital bd square multiplied by 1040 square 1040 square and again this whole term multiplied by uh, Again, we can consider this as again we can consider this small b that is the width of footing. Okay, okay, this should be considered as capital B, therefore 2400 multiplied by 1040. So, still comes out to be 4109.04 mm square mm square now we use let let us use 16 mm 5 bars let us use 50 16 mm 5 bars that is diameter of bar we are considering 16 mm we are considering the diameter of bar as 16 mm Okay, let us use 16 mm five bars. Let us use the 16 mm five bars. Therefore, therefore, the spacing, spacing required, the spacing required, this will be equal to area of area of one 16 five bar 
area of 116 pi bar multiplied by width along which it is uh, uh, across which it is to be led okay divided by area of our steel bar so this is equal to area of 116 mm pi bar is pi by 4 into 16 where we have b as 2400 divided by area of steel area of steel is 4109.04 so the spacing comes out to be 117.43 mm okay therefore spacing is spacing required this is the spacing required that is 117.43 mm therefore number of bars number of bars number of bars this will be equal to 4109.04 that is area of steel divided by area of 116 mm fiber that is 5 by 4 into 16 square we can say that is AST divided by AST divided by area of 116 5 bar area of 116 5 bar okay so this number of total number of bars comes out to be this will be equal to 20.44 that is approximately equal to on higher side 21 numbers so we will be providing 21 number of bars at the top face we will be providing 21 number of bars at the top face okay along the length of footing along the length of footing at top face at top face okay so uh, but we'll be providing let us uh, consider since uh, therefore provide okay therefore provide 16 mm five bars five bars at 110 mm center to center or that is 21 number of bars at top as hogging reinforcement or negative reinforcement hogging or negative reinforcement negative or that is negative reinforcement that is negative reinforcement therefore now ast minimum should be now ast ast minimum ast minimum minimum ast as we know that we provide 0.12 percent of cross section of 0.12 percent of cross section of cross section area okay so that is equal to 0.12 divided by 100 that is 0.12 percent multiplied by we have area is equal to um, 2400 that is b multiplied by depth of our footing depth was total depth was 1100 therefore this is equal to therefore since this capital b is equal to 1100 this AST minimum comes out to be 3168 mm square. Okay, let us again provide. We have got this AST minimum provide 16 pi bars. Provide 16 pi bars. Okay, therefore, number of bars, number of bars is equal to. AST minimum divided by area of 16 mm diameter bar. So it is equal to 3168 divided by area of 1 pi bar or 16 mm pi bar is pi bar 4 into 16 square. So just scroll up. So this is equal to 3168 divided by area of 1 mm pi bar is 201.06 mm square and this will become equal to 
numbers okay so that is nearly equal to 7 16 numbers so 16 number uh, uh, fiber 16 number 16 mm fibers okay hence hence what we will be doing out of these 20 num 21 number of main steel bars five bars can be curtailed from the point of contrafracture say from at a distance 1.6 meter from both the ends okay because uh, the uh, the main ast steel requirement is within the range of your um, negative bending moment only therefore hence out of 21 main bars five bars can be curtailed from the point of from the point of contrafracture okay that is at a distance approximately it is i think 1.585 so let us consider we are curtailing at a distance 1.6 meter at a distance 1.6 meter from both edges from both edges so we will be providing the top rent bomb top bars in this manner for top for top reinforcement top reinforcement along the longitudinal direction along the longitudinal direction that will be sorry it is not aided properly okay if we consider the plan the top reinforcement will be okay the top reinforcement will be provided like this sorry okay so this is our uh, top reinforcement how we will be providing it will be this is top reinforcement that is negative reinforcement okay negative reinforcement so what we will be doing we will be providing some number of bars straight bars then again some number of bar sorry okay just a minute so what we will be doing we will be providing some some steel bars like this okay sorry okay let us provide some steel bar like this just on it yeah okay mm. if this is our footing in plan if this is our footing in plan let us consider this is our footing in plan then the top reinforcement will be something like this okay, why it is 
just a meta angle. Okay, so the top reinforcement will be something like this. We will provide one bar like this again another bar like this okay then we will be curtailing verb one bar okay at a distance 1.6 meter from left and 1.6 meter from right because this is the longitudinal steel reinforcement and this is mainly required for the uh, this is mainly required for the negative bending moment whereas for positive bending moment from point a, a, a to c and uh, b to d uh, only 16 number of bars are required and uh, from point a to b that is from this column center a to b will be requiring total 21 number of bars whereas from this point a to c and from this point b to d we require only 16 number of bars okay so out of this total 21 number of bars we can curtail 16 number bars uh, number of bars so same thing we are doing here we will be providing some bars like this again we will be providing some bars like this again we will be curtailing one more bar okay similar uh, at the same distance again we will be providing some steel reinforcement again we will be providing some steel reinforcement again we will be curtailing one more bar so this is how we have to curtail total uh, fine number of bars so this is how we have to make the arrangement for top reinforcement okay this is only in longitudinal direction uh, still we haven't calculated the steel reinforcement in the uh, transverse direction okay now we'll move to the positive moment reinforcement okay now we'll move to the uh, positive moment reinforcement now the positive reinforcement positive moment reinforcement will be required uh, to be provided at the bottom face of your footing it will be required to be provided at the bottom face of your footing therefore positive moment reinforcement r e i n o t o r c reinforcement calculation okay so positive moment cal uh, reinforcement calculation now we have we have maximum positive positive moment we have positive moment or bending moment you can consider it as a bending moment is equal to 500 kilo newton meter 500 kilo newton meter therefore steel requirement ast is equal to formula is again same 0.5 multiplied by fck upon fy fck upon fy again it is multiplied by 1 minus square root 1 minus square root we have formula 1 minus 4.6 mu 4.6 mu into fck b d square b d square multiplied by b into d multiplied by b into d put the values known values we get 0.5 into fck is 25 fy is 415 then bracket 1 minus square root of 1 minus square root of 1 minus 4.6 mu is 500 okay multiplied by 500 into 10 raised to power 6 converted just converted it into newton mm fck is 20 we have b as 2400 d as 1040 square and then it is multiplied by 2400 and again it is sorry again it is multiplied by d that is 1040 we get this ast is equal to 1344 mm square 1344 mm square this is less than ast minimum this is less than a sorry this is less than ast minimum which we have already calculated which we have already calculated this ast minimum was 300 3000 this ast minimum was 3168 mm square okay therefore provide therefore therefore provide therefore provide positive reinforcement 
that is AST is equal to positive reinforcement AST is equal to 3 sorry 3168 3168 mm square therefore again providing again providing again providing again providing 16 mm 5 bars 16 mm 5 bars again providing 16 mm 5 bars total numbers total numbers numbers will be 16 that is already calculated in for hogging bending moment okay for the width b equal to 2400 mm mm 2400 mm now under we should provide some uh, reinforcement under the columns also we should provide some reinforcement under the okay so these bars are required to be provided for negative uh, sorry positive reinforcement at the bottom face at the bottom face but at the same time these reinforcements are provided in such a manner these reinforcements are provided in some band okay below the columns okay how i will show this okay let us consider this is our one of the columns this is our one of the columns okay okay let us consider this is our one of the column okay and this is the portion below this column okay this is the this is the portion below this particular column below this particular column okay now the steel reinforcement is provided in such a manner that like this okay this is having 45 degree angle this is having 45 degree angle 45 degree angle this is the width of your our column this is the width of column and as this is 45 degree therefore this will be d this will be d this will be d this distance will be b this distance will be b and this distance will be again d that is effective depth of your column uh, sorry footing okay so these bottom reinforcement are provided uh, in this particular region okay this reinforcement are provided in uh, that is this 16 numbers 5 bar will be provided in this um, region in this uh, band in this particular band having total width is equal to b plus twice d b plus twice d b plus twice d therefore these steel reinforcement these bars are to be are to be provided provided in a band of width of width equal to b plus 2d that is equal to we have b is equal to 500 mm plus 2 into depth is 1040 mm so this is equal to width of this band width of band width of this band will be equal to 2.58 meter 2.58 58 meters okay therefore we will be providing 16 number of these 16 mm 5 bars okay uh, up for a width of 2.58 meters only and then 50% uh, steel reinforcement will be curtailed now to calculate the um, spacing now spacing of now spacing of these 6 16 number 16 5 bars the spacing of these 16 number 16 5 bars spacing required spacing required is equal to again area of one steel bar multiplied by b divided by area pro of steel provided that is 5 by 4 into 16 square multiplied by 
2400 divided by 3168 so we get this spacing required is equal to 152 mm 152 mm that is nearly equal to 150 sorry 150 mm that is nearly equal to 150 mm okay that is nearly equal to 150 mm therefore therefore provide this provide 16 phi bars at 150 mm okay that is 16 numbers again 16 phi 16 numbers okay for a distance for a distance 2.258 meter bandwidth okay that is the same bandwidth below columns c a and b sorry a and b okay a and b just a minute i'll scroll up and then half of these bars and half and then half of these bars half of these bars should be be curtailed beyond this bandwidth okay so for bottom face for so for bottom face okay how will be providing this steel reinforcement i'll just show you okay that is the spacing for this uh, curtailed bars will be spacing will be spacing will be be 2 into 150 mm so that is equal to 300 mm spacing okay so uh, curtailed bars will be provided at a spacing of 300 mm center to center okay again i'll stop this in to shape just a minute now let us consider this is the bottom face of our putty this is the bottom face of our putting this is the bottom face of our putting and then how we will be providing the steel reinforcement we will be providing like this okay how we will be providing the steel reinforcement we will be providing one steel reinforcement like this then another steel reinforcement like this sorry one will be like this another steel reinforcement will be like this again curtailing half of the steel reinforcement okay, this will be up to end then we will have another steel reinforcement then again we have one curtailed bar again we have one full length bar then again we have some curtailed bar again we have some curtailed bar again we have some full length bar here we will be having some full length bar okay again we will be having some curtailed bar here again we will be having some curtailed bar so these will be so these will be 16 phi at 120 sorry 300 mm at 300 mm center to center whereas this will be again one uh, 300 center to center but within this band within this particular band of 2.58 meter 2. 2.58 meter band will be having these steel reinforcement at 150 mm center to center okay that is this plus this both including these 
to uncurtain uh, uncurtain and curtail bar this will be at a distance of 150 mm center to center so this is how we will be providing the bottom reinforcement okay i delete this it may create some confusion okay now now we have to design in the transverse direction now we have to design in the transverse direction okay so consider step b design for transverse reinforcement so next step will be design for transverse reinforcement transverse reinforcement that is we have for first design the reinforcement in the longitudinal direction that is along the line now we have to design along the transverse direction that is how much will be the reinforcement along the transverse direction that we have to design now okay now we know that as we know that i have already explained you that when we will be designing along the transverse direction we will be considering that we will be considering that if this is our footing we will be and this is the column okay we are considering the transverse direction okay some load will be acting over this okay like this uniform load will be acting over this and this will bend like this this will bend like this in the transverse direction it will bend like this in the transverse direction okay so how will be designing this will be considering this as a cantilever portion which is resting on some column which is resting on some column and then we'll be designing this particular footing in transverse direction this footing in transverse direction okay so so now now in transverse direction now in transverse direction the footing is is designed as a cantilever supported on which is supported on on a column a column okay therefore the transfer reinforcement provided in each column will be again that will be provided in that particular band width only that will be provided in that particular band width only therefore the transverse reinforcement the transverse reinforcement is provided is provided under main main columns or simply columns within a band width of a band width of a band width of a band width of again b plus 2d okay where or capital b plus uh, sorry small b plus 2d where the small b is equal to width of column small b is width of column and small d is equal to depth of footing depth of footing okay this we can consider this as effective depth effective depth only again we have already calculated this band width under each column this band width this band width under each column this is equal to b plus twice d so this is b is b is 500 mm plus 2 into 1040 so that is equal to 2.54 meter so this band width is 2.54 meter again we have upward soil pressure we have upward 
soil pressure we have upward soil pressure okay we need this in kilo newton per meter therefore this 1600 load on your column multiplied by 1.5 divided by 2.4 meter so we'll get the upward soil pressure this 1600 is the this 1600 is the load on your column this this 1600 is the load on your column therefore 16 uh, this will be equal to transfer load will be will comes out to be 1000 kilo newton per meter 1000 kilo newton per meter okay let me scroll up 1000 kilo newton per meter now bending moment at the face of column in transverse direction now bending moment bending moment at face of at face of column at face of column in transverse direction in transverse direction okay this will be equal to this load 1000 kilo newton per meter square multiplied by uh, the uh, distance of edge of your uh, footing from the face of column so this will comes out to be 1000 multiplied by this distance will be 2.4 2.4 by 2 that is width of footing by divided by 2 minus half of the width of column minus half of the width of column and this will be square divided by again divided by 2 okay so this bending moment comes out to be this bending moment comes out to be this bending moment value comes out to be 451.25 kilo newton meter 451.25 25 kilo newton meter now hence now hence provide provide minimum ast minimum ast because the this uh, the ast whichever will be coming from uh, obtaining from this 451.25 kilo newton meter will be Uh, less than AST minimum, therefore we will provide a minimum AST. We have AST minimum. We have AST minimum is equal to 0.12 percent, 0.12 percent of this bandwidth. This bandwidth is 2540 multiplied bandwidth multiplied by the depth of footing. So 1100. So AST minimum will be equal to 3353. mm square 3353 mm square provide providing providing 16 five bars 16 five bars then spacing required if we provide 16 five bars then whatever what is the spacing required therefore spacing required therefore spacing required this will be equal to area of 1 16 five bar that is pi by 4 into 16 square multiplied by the uh, width uh, width uh, in which this reinforcement is to be distributed that is equal to band width that is 2540 divided or 2.54 meter divided by ast minimum that is 3353 so spacing required is equal to 152 mm let us provide a spacing of 